Hello everyone and welcome to your channel, your path from BDS to DMD. Hope all of you are well and are studying hard for your boards. Um, I hope everyone that you know, you, your loved ones, everyone in the family are happy, healthy and safe. Um, our today's topic is going to be how to study for national boards. I know we have had at least two separate videos on the study material, but I have gotten a lot of requests from people saying that we need some more information, some specific books. Um, I believe one thing which all of you should do is, uh, you know, make your foundation very strong. If you're a D1, D2 student, um, or if you are, you know, in your MDS program, one thing I would suggest is um, go through your books, read them. One thing, one very nice thing I love about national boards is the questions are um, very direct. They are not tricky. You know, if you know the basics, you know the answer. And, you know, that's how I look at it. Again, as I said, the, these um, videos that I'm creating, I do not get paid by anyone to endorse them. National board actually the only thing they endorse and they release are uh, the ASDA decks and the question papers, the release question papers that they have, which you can buy on their website. But other than that, even ASDA does not, um, you know, recommend or tell you that, okay, read this book, read that book. These are certain things which students have been reading and they, um, it has helped them study. So that's why I'm going to share them with you. So practice exams, um, this, if you go to crack the NBD and I will put all these links in the description so you can go and click on this link. Um, it actually has a lot of practice exams. Some may be difficult and those are not likely the questions that come on the board, but um, overall it has good reviews from students who studied them. And you know, plus when taking the practice exam, it kind, it kind of boosts your morale at the same time it helps you practice that how to uh, finish your exam on time. And that's one piece of advice. The only piece of advice which you should take, uh, you know, your take home uh, advice would be when you are taking your boards, if you do not know the answer to a question, please move on to the next question and flag the question, come back to it. But please do not invest a lot of time because the goal is for you to make sure that you answer as many questions. Yes, you have to answer them right. Absolutely, that is something that you want to do. But please do not invest your time on one question that you don't have enough time to even read all the questions. So, you know, that's one good thing with crack the NBD is you have practice exams. The second online test preparation is Exam Master. I know some people who have used this, um, you know, they said exactly like the previous one that it, it does help in getting in that mindset of, you know, taking the exam. Um, and I feel, go to these questions once you feel that you have prepared for your exam and give yourself a timeline, you know, don't say, okay, I'll take the exam, um, maybe at this time the moment you set your timeline of okay i'm going to take my exam let's say in december then you know uh, this is august so you have about you know good few months to study and i think one um, common thing which i've heard and i have done it myself is a three month timeline is a good timeline for you to prepare you know if if you are studying but if you're working and you know, then you are also studying for your boards, then give yourself good four or five months. But study every day for good two to three hours. And when you study for those three hours, just um, disconnect yourself from cell phones and other distraction. And, you know, when you're studying, just study. I think that 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 will definitely help. You know, it's it's more about the quality um, of time that you spend than the amount of time that you spend. The next one is, of course, first aid, um, you know, question and answers. This is a book which is good to study. But again, as I mentioned in one of my last videos, um, sometimes I feel the difficulty level is too much. And those are not the kind of questions that come on the board. But, you know, um, if you just want to read the book, 
like reading a novel, then, you know, then this may be a resource. The next one is Mosby's. Again, it's a good book for review, but with all these books, do not get um, stuck too much in detail um, that is there in the books. Kaplan High Yield, uh, Dent Essentials. This is a book that I had some of my friends who read them. So as I told you last time, you know, for me, it was about reading um, the professor's notes in class because I did take my part one uh, before getting into the school and then I took my part two later. So that is something, uh, you know, which was helpful for me. Um, the assessments, they are available on Kaplan NBDE prep. Now this uh, Kaplan NBDE prep is actually a good resource and they do have some assessments that are available. But as I said, my favorite are still the ASTA uh, release question papers and decks. They, that is my number one go-to. And there you go. So you can go to this website and you can uh, you know buy it directly from the ASTA website. Um, one thing about the decks that I can tell you um, is there is a lot of information. So um, don't try to memorize everything. You know, yes, there are certain um, subjects that you have to memorize, but then um, there are certain which are, you know, more application based. Try to understand things than just memorizing them. Um, this is a very nice link that I found recently, and it's on the ASDA website, and it gives you um, a list of resources, and it's a very, it's 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 a quite detailed PDF which ASDA has uh, compiled, and it does tell you about uh, you know what books to study, what are the other reference materials. So I'm going to share this description with you. I did a little bit um, homework to find out what are the other students reading, and uh, this is definitely a very uh, detailed list. But again, um, as I said, um, you know, stick to your basics. Um, do not get very overwhelmed when you're studying for your boards. Just concentrate. Um, you know, some of you have been practicing dentists, and um, you will be able to answer a lot of questions on the boards even before without actually studying those questions because you know, the standard of care, the treatment plan, those are the things that we are using when we practice on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is something which is definitely going to help you. For um, students who are still in school and are preparing uh, for their boards, I feel, you know, listen to what your professors are teaching in school. Uh, they have a lot of experience and uh, you know, especially if you are an advanced, you're already an advanced standing student who is in school and, um, you know, you have not taken your part two of the board, you will realize that your professor's lectures do prepare you for the boards, you know, what you learn on the clinic floor. Um, so that is very helpful. So again, my top two choices are going to be uh, the dental decks and um, the ASDA release papers, but I really wanted to create this video and share this additional piece of information that I thought will be helpful to you. Like always, feel free to ask me any questions, any concerns, um, anything that I can do to um, improve the videos, any topics which interest you. Uh, please put the comments in the comment box below and I will be very very happy to create videos for you take care stay tuned please like please share please subscribe and thank you so much for all the love that you are showering what is going to be our next video now this is the fun part i know a lot of you want to know how to get student loan and this is um this is a very important topic because you are looking to invest a lot of money a lot of time and you know you want to make sure that uh, there are resources that are going to help you through the school so what i'm going to do i'm going to break this section down into two one is how to get a student loan for a foreign trained dentist if you are planning to get a student loan from your home country um, for those who are uh, 
permanent resident or citizens, you know, the path will be slightly different because then you can get the federal loans. But for those who are already um, in the United States and are, uh, you know, are not permanent resident or citizens and are looking to get a loan in the United States, I will also talk about that process. So yes, we will address this issue in our next topic is how to get student loans. So please stay tuned. Um, wish you all the best. Stay happy, stay positive, and stay blessed. Take care.